Okay guys, welcome back to my channel, Be Healthy Naturally. I am going to be going over another video with you guys. Um, this will be my second YouTube video that I'm posting. So still new to this, so bear with me. Um, I'm still trying to learn like all the do's and don'ts of recording, still recording on my phone. So just please accept the process with me. I got my dogs in the background, so if you hear them, don't mind them. So this video is going to be talking about my supplement regimen um, that I do daily. Uh, my first video was about um, a tea, a detox tea that I like to drink every day, either morning or night. Um, it's a gentle tea that you can find at any store. Um, that was pretty much one of the supplements that I do out of my daily um, regimen. So I just thought that it would be nice just to share all of my supplements that I am currently on. Um, if anyone is interested in kind of what to try, what things should they be doing daily, um, these are just my recommendations on what was recommended for me. Um, there are a few of them that I think are important for everybody to be on and be taking. So I'll just share that with you. Um, there are quite a few, so I want to make it fast so that it's not like a super long video. Um, I do have my kind of handout from the doctor just to kind of see why they recommended it for me um, and just kind of how I'm supposed to take it just so that you guys can be aware of it. Okay, so the first supplement that I take um, is a probiotic, which I think is important for everyone to take, whether you're, you know, female or male. Everybody should be taking a probiotic. It just definitely is helpful for the gut, the digestive system. It's good to put good bacteria inside of us um, and just kind of level out with the good and the bad. Um, so a daily probiotic is very important. Um, this is called orthobiotic, and it is by um, Ortho Molecular Products. Um, you get 60 capsules in here. Um, this was recommended to me. It's a probiotic to support healthy body flora. Um, this probiotic has Saccharomyces, which is a yeast that inhibits candida growth. So a lot of you may not know, but a few, like maybe like about a year ago, um, I was diagnosed with a candida overgrowth, which is basically an overgrowth of yeast. A lot of us have candida, you know, all of us have candida in our bodies, yeast in our bodies. Um, but it's supposed to be at normal levels. Mine was over the top, just off of diet, not eating the right things. And it just kind of went off on the deep end. So probiotic is definitely important to get that candida back in, back in order. Um, there are a lot of brands of probiotics out there, a lot of good brands. Some you have to keep in the refrigerator, some are shelf stable. Because probiotic are, is bacteria, um, sometimes you have to keep them in the refrigerator just to keep the bacteria alive. I know that sounds creepy, but you have to keep it live so that it's, you know, going into the body. That's my dog. Um, but some of them do have, um, you know, they have shelf stable you know, brands available so that you can have that. And this is a shelf stable brand. Um, I was on another probiotic previously from this called Claire Labs. That was the brand. And it was called Thurbiotic. I really did like it. It was a refrigerated probiotic. Um, I think it had about 25 billion um, bacteria in it and um, it was available on Amazon so a lot of these supplements that I am on you I don't think that they are necessarily available everywhere um, at least I haven't found it yet but necessarily I haven't really looked um, I work at a naturopathic doctor's office currently so I get a lot of my supplements from work so it's you know easy for me um, but I probably will be looking just to see if you can get it elsewhere but I know that the clear biotics that I got from work was available on Amazon just you know be careful for any fraud labeling but it was a good probiotic. However, it did not have the Saccharomyces in it, which is why the doctor ended up switching me to the orthobiotic so that it can kind of, uh, I needed that specific bacteria strain along with the others to kind of get me back on track. Okay, and I'm gonna like sit down because I'm like on my knees. 
Um, so that's a probiotic and that's why I'm taking it. I take one, uh, it was recommended for me to take two daily, one in the morning, one at night. Now that things are kind of in order and kind of back on track with, um, my candida, then I can just take one at night and that's fine. Okay. And just so that you guys can see what it looks like, I actually finished it later. <laughs> nope. They're like trying to fight and I'm like trying to record. So this is kind of like what it looks like. It is a capsule form. So you can actually open it and it's like a little powder inside. For those of you who can't like take pills, it's okay. Um, and that's about how big it is. And I've actually known too that uh, what I like about a lot of what probiotics as well. Um, you can actually insert them uh vaginally or you can do like mouth swashes with them um if ever you have like a candida like a lot of females sometimes have um yeast infections or irritation down in wow. their female area after you know sexual intercourse or just period if you kind of get off track my dog is barking hey no no um you can kind of get off track. So it is good to have a probiotic. And this is one that I can, that I actually use um, sometimes when I just kind of want to get things clear down there and just feel nice. If I've known that I've been eating bad, then I'll insert one up there. I know that's a lot of information, but you got to know us ladies got to stick together and men you got to help your wives and help you help your girls okay um sometimes sex can throw us off too you know even what you know with what our partners eat and everything that definitely has effect on us okay all the juices so a, a probiotic inserting it up there um i find it to be helpful so you can you don't only have to take it orally but you can do that as well okay so moving on um, the next supplement that I take is called K-Force. It is also by Orthomolecular Products, um, which is the same as the probiotic. The K-Force is a vitamin D supplement. So I actually, this is what she says, to improve vitamin D levels and support immune system. Okay, so vitamin D is very, 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 very important. It is, it is, you know, related to, you know, cancer in a lot of ways. You want to definitely take one of these if you can every day um, just for cancer prevention and just, you know, just important for, like she said, the immune system, boosting that immune system up up so that you can kind of ward off you know the things that we're so much exposed to out in the world what we eat and vitamin d is very very good for just protecting us from those you know cancer building cells out there um or other types of conditions that can lead to you know cancer so it's important for everybody to take a vitamin D. It's important to get tested for vitamin D so that if you're low, then you can make sure you're taking the right amount of vitamin D because you don't want to be low in that. Um, this one actually has K2 with it. So I do find that, Simba, no. I do find that with a lot of vitamin D um, supplements, K2 is in it as well. And I'm not sure if K2 is necessarily in it for the absorption of the vitamin D. Sometimes um, vitamins will be put together so that it can kind of help absorb in the body better. But I do think that K2 has its own really great properties that it helps with. And it just goes hand in hand with vitamin D. So this one has, this vitamin D is 125 micrograms D3. And the vitamin K2 is 180 micrograms. Okay. And um, I take one of these daily. Okay. So it's very important. Make sure you do that. Um, and just so that you guys can see how it looks. It, mine is a little yellow capsule. And you can open it. And it's like a little powder. Okay. Uh, the next one that we'll move on to is the iron, the ferrosorb. It's called ferrosorb. It's by Thorn. Thorn is a brand that is, I believe, open to the public now. They weren't before. 
but you can go to their website and you should be able to order from them. Uh, this is an iron supplement to help me with my stored iron. So when I got my lab work done, my iron levels itself wasn't bad, but my stored iron wasn't necessarily where it needed to be. So you have your regular iron that you, you get from your food and, and your body, but then you have, you know, your body has like a little reserve, a backup system, and that has to be at a certain level. So that one was a little low for me. So I take this, it's a little gray capsule, and you know, if you can open it, it's powder form. Um, and I have to take one capsule twice a day and this iron is really good. I know that iron supplement is, is not something that's like a lot, it's common for a lot of people to be on an iron supplement. I've heard that like people, if you like chew ice or something, if you have the need to chew ice, ice, then that means you need iron or something. I don't know how true that is, but that's what I heard. Um, uh, I know like some pregnant women, I think have to take iron as well. Um, but the thing is, a lot of people, when they take iron, they find that the iron makes them constipated. And that was something that I was worried about when I was recommended taking an iron supplement. I'm like, I don't want to be constipated. I don't want to have to deal with that. But the doctor actually told me that it's the type of iron that is what you need to kind of keep you from having those side effects of um being constipated and a lot of the iron supplements that you kind of get from like the regular store you know the cheap brands they will have that that type of iron that makes you constipated so it's really important that when looking for getting an iron supplement that you get a good quality brand you get one that doesn't have all those fillers just to help you um, kind of process things better and this iron actually has cofactors so it says iron it says iron with cofactors. So this type of iron is a ferrochill. That's what it's called. It's a ferrochill form of iron. So that's F-E-R-R-O-C-H-E-L. So that's the kind of iron that doesn't make you uh, constipated. It is 36 milligrams of iron, but it also has other vitamins in here as well. It has vitamin C, vitamin B6, folate, vitamin B12. So it has other things in there that possibly help also for the digestive, pro digestive process so that it doesn't get, you know, me constipated or anything like that. So it's good to kind of just really make sure you have other types of support with an iron supplement and also have the right type of iron. So make sure it's that ferrochill type and not no other kind of type of iron because then you might be constipated. Okay. So that's that. Moving on next is my B complex, B6 complex. So I take a B vitamin um, and this is actually a bunch of B vitamins in one capsule. So not just B6. Um, B vitamins have different. Okay, so I had a little phone man. My husband was freaking calling me messing up my video. So this B vitamin actually has, um, like I said, other types of Bs in it. So there's a B12, there's a B6, there's a B5. Uh, folate is another type of B vitamin. So, um, you know, there's different type of Bs that you can take. Um, and this B6 complex has a bunch of Bs. So it has B2. Uh, B6, B12, folate, it has biotin in it, um, and it has pantothenic acid, which is some kind of uh, B5 calcium. Um, it has thiamine, it has riboflavin, it has niacin. So this is just a bunch of, and I'm like burping over here. This is a bunch of Bs uh, put into a capsule. It's a little chunky, but it's a yellow capsule. You can open it, um, and it's like a little powder, so if you need to, if you can't swallow pills. But, and I take one of those daily. And it's just important to have a B vitamin. This is to support the overall metabolism, improve B12 and folate levels, and improve acne. So B vitamin can be very, very helpful with acne. I've dealt with acne like all my life. Um, it's just been there, so it ha it definitely helps with that. I can say that my face has gotten a lot better now that I'm just on my supplement regimen. I'm doing my detox tea, taking care of myself. It's important, so 
get you a B vitamin, okay? And the good thing about it is with B, you can't, like, overload on B. Like, you just pee it out. Like, your body takes what it needs to and then just pees the rest of it out. And, like, your pee, like, my pee is, like, a neon green yellow. Like, it's crazy. I'm like, oh, my goodness. But it's totally normal and you can just never have enough Bs. So, definitely get your B vitamin. Um, the next one is a fish oil. Okay, this is actually a liquid. Fish oil can come in capsules and liquid. I'm on a liquid version. Um, it's called Omega Pure, and it's by Arctic Oils. This one is, this fish is made of is anchovy, sardines, and mackerel. Um, I've had some patients ask for a vegan fish oil. I am not sure of one at this time. I'm sure there is. I don't know if there is, you know, kind of which one is better or if the vegan amounts up to the real, you know, actual from fish. So that's something to look into. But this is a liquid. It is a natural orange flavor and it has stevia in it as well. A lot of fish oils will kind of have something, um, will kind of have something with it to kind of get rid of that fishy taste so it's not so bad for you. Um, so this one has it, so just be aware that when looking for a fish oil, make sure you look at the ingredients, you know, and make sure you can, you know, you would want all of that. Some people don't like stevia, some people don't like orange flavor. So then just look at that and just get something that is helpful for you. Um, fish oil has EPA and DHA, which is the two main components that you need from fish oils. That's the whole point of you taking it. It's very important. So this EPA is 1.24 grams and the DHA is 828 milligrams. Okay. Um, for the fish oil, she puts here omega-3 fatty acids are a combination of EPA and DHA. EPA is anti-inflammatory. It protects your heart and blood vessels, lubricates tissues, joints, and skin. DHA nourishes the brain and the nerves. So all of that is extremely important as we know. Um, this fish oil is refrigerated. So um, I've known that with a lot of refrigerated supplements, kind of like the probiotic, if it's refrigerated, sometimes it's a little bit harder to take, you know, because it's out of sight, out of mind. If it's in the fridge, you don't see it all the time or if it's tucked away so you can forget. And I know that I'm guilty of that with the fish oil, but my doctor has told me so many times, Christina, you need to make sure you're taking this. It's extremely important for you. So just find a regimen for you and just make sure that you're on track with the um, with your fish oil. Fish oils are extremely important for you, just like probiotic is. Um, and I take one teaspoon daily with dinner. Um, I noticed that uh, with a lot of patients tell me as well that if you kind of take the fish oil without food, then you kind of burp a lot and you burp out the fishiness or it can kind of make you nauseous a little bit. So it's important to eat it with something uh, or take it with, you know, dinner or some type of food so you don't have those side effects. Okay, so that's the fish oil. Um, make sure you get a good fish oil too. There's a lot of fish oils out there that are just nothing but fillers. It's just nothing but junk and it's just not effective. Okay, fish oil is something that you have to take serious. So make sure you get a good brand. You know, you might have to spend a little bit of money to make sure you get what you're getting, what you need from it. Okay, but that's extremely important. So next thing I'm going to move on to is the uh, Vitex. So Vitex 750 is what it's called, and it's by Vital Nutrients, okay? Um, this is what the capsule looks like. Um, it's a bit chunky as well, and it's a capsule, so it's like gray, so you can open it, and it's like a little powder, okay? I take one of those daily, and what the Vitex is to balance the sex hormones and improve bleeding in between periods. So I have irregular periods, which means that I spot in between periods. Such a freaking nuisance. Um, I've known it to be common for a lot of people as well. Um, so this supplement is to kind of help with that. I know that when I got testing done... Um, my sex hormones were off a little bit, so this was to kind of get me back on track. This vital, this Vitex 750 is the the actual 
uh, ingredient. It's an herb. And it's called chase tree berry extract, okay? Chase tree berry extract. So C-H-A-S-T-E-T-R-E-E, -E -E, berry, and then extract. So it's an herb. And I find that this herb is extremely important when trying to kind of get like, I'm over here trying to like get comfy, like my dog is like all over me. Bear with me. So this um, herb is extremely important when you're trying to like get like your hormones in check or having issues with bleeding or your periods if you bleed too much. Um, this chase tree berry I've seen in a lot of other supplements for patients that have those kinds of issues or those kinds of problems. So this is a really good herb for it. Now I will say that this is a supplement that is going to take time, okay? So this is a problem, you know, having irregular periods or, you know, issues with your period or bleeding at all. Um, a lot of times we want something that's like a quick fix because we're just over it, we're tired. You know, we go to the doctor, they give us medication. But if you're trying to go the natural route, please be in the know that it will take time, okay? My doctor has actually told me that. She says, you know, it takes a while for it to just kind of kick in and get things regulated, which is not hard to understand because our periods are on a cycle. You know, they're already calculated. It's already on its own regimen. So you taking, you know, something natural or herb, it's going to take time to kind of kick in and get things um, changing in regards to your cycle. So it took a while for it to kind of really have an effect. I would say probably... It took a couple months, you know, for me to actually see an effect, you know, and even still sometimes it's not 100%, you know, some, t some periods I will still have spotting in between, but it's a lot better now that I'm taking it. And as long as I just be consistent, it helps a lot. So just, you know, make sure that you're being aware when taking a supplement like this, write things down so that when you see your doctor next time, you can kind of just be like, okay, this is what's happening or I'm not feeling like it's working. How long should I expect? Just make sure that you ask the questions, okay? So that's this. The other supplement is called inositol powder. This ingredient, inositol, was actually in the B vitamin as well. Um, so again, you'll find a lot of vitamins and supplements mixed in together into one um, pill. So inositol, this is a powder, and I actually do, hey guys, um, I actually do one scoop twice a day. One scoop twice a day, okay? And the inositol powder is to support ovarian function, balance sex hormones, improve testosterone levels, and balance blood sugar. A lot of good things. So again, balancing the sex hormones. So sometimes you have to take a conjunction of things um, when you're trying to work on one issue, you know, and hormones is very complicated and it takes time to kind of find the right fit for you. So you have to try different things or multiple things at one time. So the inositol and the Vitex kind of go hand in hand with helping the sex hormones. Um, but the Inositol also helps with ovarian function, so that's extremely important, you know, for cycles or fertility, um, testosterone levels, my testosterone levels were off, um, so definitely helps with that, and then balancing the blood sugar, and on, and on the, on the, this little bottle, it actually says it helps it supports emotional wellness too. So maybe that's why it helps with the testosterone level. Maybe like my testosterone is too much and I'm like, Rrr! you know, because I find that when I'm taking this, you know, I'm a little, I'm a little calm, you know, like things don't like bother me as much, you know, I'm not like out of it, like crazy, but definitely find myself just not getting overworked over things that will normally like have me like ticked off. So that's this, um, and with the powder, you actually don't see a taste, okay? So you, you mix it with your water, mix it up really good, and it actually doesn't even look like there's anything mixed in your water. So it's kind of like crazy. It's like, oh my God, somebody could... Okay, so you just, yeah, so it's like somebody could totally spike your drink and like you not even know with this, like... 
it you don't taste anything i don't know if you can take it with anything else i think you have to take it with water i don't think you can take it with like juice or anything um but it, it was fine with me with water i didn't notice a difference okay so that kind of sums up my supplement regimen i know it's a lot it can really become a process when you're taking it for so long um and you know you just have to find a system and a regimen for yourself to be consistent and stay on track it's kind of like going to the gym you know you got to keep yourself motivated because you can easily just be like you know what i'm over this i don't want to do this anymore i'm sick of taking pills but it's really important for you and you have to just be consistent if you want to see results. Um, some of these things you do need to take for long periods of time and just kind of always have in your, you know, just have a part of your life is just like exercise. You know, you should always be some, always be active, always be exercising. So it's the same thing with supplements. You should always be, you know, having them daily in your life along with eating good because a lot of times we don't get what we need from our foods and especially the foods that we eat nowadays, you know, it doesn't have that good stuff that we need. So it's important to, you know, be on daily supplements. Vitamin D is extremely important. Uh, fish oil is extremely important and probiotic is extremely important. So those, you have to do those, okay? So um, just find a system for yourself and it, it, will, it will be good and you'll find really good benefits from it. Make sure that you're getting good quality supplements. You know, look at the ingredients. Don't make, make sure it doesn't have a whole bunch of fillers in it and it's packed with a whole bunch of unnecessary stuff. Um, there will be other ingredients just to kind of make up the capsule part of it just for, you know, um, digestion purposes as well so there will be a few things aside from the actual nutrient or vitamin that you need that is in the supplement but make sure it's not like a whole bunch of words that you can't pronounce and a long list it shouldn't be like that okay so that is kind of like my daily thing there's two other supplements i just wanted to chime in about that i'm no longer on right now and it helped me with my candida process but now that my candida process is in check that i don't necessarily need to take them but my husband is taking them because he's going through his candida journey um so I want to share those with you for whoever is, you know, going through their candida journey or process or interested in it. So the two supplements that I was on, and there was actually another one that I don't have to show you, but this one is a grapefruit seed um, extract, and it's by Pure Encapsulations, okay? This is extremely important when you're on a candida treatment, okay? Um, I had to take two capsules twice a day. And it was a little tiny capsule like this. Little tiny capsules. Not bad. You can open it. It's a powder. Um, it has a 250 milligrams of grapefruit extract. Um, I know that there's another brand out there called Da Vinci Labs. And it has a higher concentration of the grapefruit seed extract. So that might be a... Uh, da Vinci Labs has a higher one. So that might be really good as well. But... Um, this was the one that I was on, um, extremely important grapefruit. It's like an actual grapefruit, uh, that you get from the store, but it's the extract of it. So it's not the, you know, you can't eat a whole bunch of grapefruits and think that it's going to amount to the same thing as the extract. You need the concentration to help with the candida process. Okay. So that was that, uh, extremely important just to break down and get the candida out of there. Um, and just kind of balance it out, I should say, not out of there. The other one was oil of oregano. This one is by Gaia Herbs. I was on the one uh, by Designs for Health, but my husband is on oil of oregano. So it is oregano, like the herb that you eat. Um, but it again, it's a concentration. It's the extract of the oregano. Um, you can't just have a whole bunch of oregano and think that it's going to be the same thing. Um, you won't. It won't process the same the the way that it that this supplement does. You know, the supplement has a has a way of digesting as opposed to just eating it in your food. We take one of these twice a day, um, and this is what his look like. And you can actually see like the oil in it, like. You see the cap is like clear at the top, like they just put the oil inside of here. 
Um, so I don't think you can necessarily open it with this one. I know the other ones you can open and it's like a powder, but that since this one is an oil and it's kind of, I mean, it's a little liquidy, but I don't think it'll be the same if you open it. So I would just try to, you know, you need to take the capsule. Um, and I would take that with the grapefruit seed extract. You know, they're antimicrobials, so you can take those together. And that's their job is to break down fungus and treat fungus and yeast and, you know, kind of get that all out of there. Um, you want to make sure that if you're on antimicrobials that you don't take that with probiotic. They need to be at least two hours separated because it will, it, the, the function, it will kind of cancel it out. You know, it will kill the bacteria. So you need the good bacteria. You want to make sure you have that. But then the antimicrobials get rid of the bad bacteria. But it can also, if taken too close together with the probiotic, it can kind of uh, stop it from actually getting into the digestive tract. So uh, so those are two important supplements that I was on when for my Candida journey. They helped tremendously um, just taking it on hand all the time do what you got to do with with these two because they will get the job done don't slack off as well as which as well as with your probiotic another one i was on was called candida stat and that one was by vitanica that one i know that you can find at some health food stores um and basically that's also it was a bunch of herbs um that help fungus and kind of get rid of candida and um she actually, the doctor actually puts here to address yeast and bad, bad bacterial overgrowth. So the candida gets rid of the bad bacteria, gets your yeast in check. And I found it to be so helpful. It had like garlic in it. It had oregano in it as well. It has some grapefruit seeds. So it had a bunch of those herbs that are very, very, very important when you're trying to get candida in balance in your body. Um, and it just helps, it just helps all of that. So that's just what I wanted to share with you guys. Um, please let me know your supplement regimen. What are you taking daily? What things do you want to take daily? If you haven't started already, what are you thinking about? Um, ask me any questions. If you have any, um, I'll tell you what I know, but I just love, I just want to share, you know, I just want to share with you guys. I want you guys to share with me, you know, if, if there's something I need to be taking that you're taking, put me on, like put me on, let me know. Cause we need to be healthy together. Okay. We all need to be better together. So let's just help each other out, you know, and, um, yeah, so that's pretty much it, hope you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Be Healthy Naturally, um, also, if you like the video, then go ahead and like it, and again, comment, I also have a list of these supplements in the description, too, so that you guys can look it up on your own if you like, um, and if you're on Instagram, um, my page is Be Healthy Naturally 2.0, so go ahead and follow me there. You can share with me there too. And then on Facebook, it's Be Healthy Naturally as well. Um, and you can share with me there too. So thank you for watching. And thank you just for being so patient with me. If you have any tips as far as recording videos too or like helping me out, let me know because I'm a newbie and I, I don't know with this, okay? Like I'm still trying to get super consistent with just making a video, period. It takes me forever, but I'm trying, okay? So just keep me, keep me in a know, y'all. All right, have a good night.